All right, I want to show you guys uh, ST5 and how to model with uh, synchronous technology. This is just supposed to be a supplemental, you know, information to complement uh, the ordered method. Again, there's two different methods: ordered, uh, the one that in which Dr. Sexton is going to talk to you about, and then there's synchronous, the one that that um, I use. Um, so to go ahead and start, just hit new and go to the ISO part. Uh, there's two different types that exist. There's ISO and then ANSI, and there's a bunch of other ones. But um, ISO is just going to be um, you know metric, and then ANSI is just, ANSI is just going to be U.S. customary. So let's just start drawing a basic box here. So you'll notice that um, by holding down um, the scroll wheel and moving my mouse, I can change the orientation and rotate this in a three-dimensional way. Um, <clears throat> so that's you know the first basic thing. The second thing is is how you draw, um, you know, just to kind of keep everything um, consistent is you know the 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 y x plane here. The thing that's you know being highlighting gold is going to be the base plane okay now to lock onto it um, to lock onto the whatever plane you want to draw on you're just going to go ahead and hover your mouse over and hit F3 that's F3 to lock onto that plane and so now we have a now we're locked on the plane now we just want to draw you know a rectangle so you'll notice here that um, I have a at the edge of it you, you you know, you see an indicator when you're locked onto an edge of an object or, or you know, something else, just like an AutoCAD. So click, and then I'm just, I'm just going to enter arbitrary units or arbitrary values. Tab zero. Okay, now to make this drawing three dimensional, I'm just going to click on it, click on this arrow, and I'm going to pull it up or you can pull it down doesn't really matter and I want to make it um, 40 actually 41.5 okay that simple that basic control I gets you to the ISO view uh, control T gets you to the top view control R gets you to the right side L is left right K is um, the back side F is front B is for bottom, and then, so there you go. So now let's go ahead and make some features in this. Um, I want to, you know, make a couple holes here on the top plane. So I'm going to, you know, again, I'm going to lock onto it by hitting F3. And holding down Shift, and then my control wheel, I can, I can pan it here, and then zoom in. And so you'll notice here that now I can find the midpoint if I would like to. It's probably easier to go in just the top view. You know, click on it. Click on this. So I just, uh, you know, quickly, um, you know, just drew some lines. These are arbitrary. They have nothing to do with anything. I just decided to do that. Um, so here's the midpoint here. So this looks like a great place to put a put a box. I'm just going to do that. So 40 by 40, 0, enter. Okay. And now what we can go ahead and do is we can now remove this part by clicking on it. Okay holding down control just like you would in any other program clicking it and it's defaulted to know whether or not you want to take away stuff or remove it um, but if you get in a situation where you have to force it to do do one or the other you can come here and um, you can just hit you know add or remove it doesn't matter so I'll choose to do remove and then you know you can see how you know this is you know, coming down. So I'm just going to come down at an arbitrary depth of, you know, I don't know, 
uh, I don't know, 20 millimeters, that's fine. Okay. And so, you know, so I did that, made that thing. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and, you know, lock on F3. Control T to kind of give me a better view. Oh, there's there's not a line here. Okay, so you can also right click or hold down right click and grab that line there. So I just held down the the right side of the mouse and just um, you know I was able to bring up you know different you know things that I can use you know just a shortcut. So I'll just make another line here. 40 by 40 by 0 and then rotate a little bit hold down shift and then just grab that bring it down 20 cool good enough for me uh, let's come over here and let's go ahead and do something you know interesting on this side so again hover over F3 and then I just kind of like to rotate it a little bit and then click on to, you know, no, a known point. So to get it, you know, I just, this is the right side, so I just, you know, control R so I know that, you know, you know, I'm normal to the surface or whatever. And uh, actually, let's, let's go ahead and do some sort of like an extrusion or something. So let's do... Uh, Another thing you can do is when you have a key point like this, you can drag up, and just like AutoCAD, it'll keep it. Um, it'll keep it. Uh, I'll zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. Um, like this is an example. You can see how that's being dragged right there. So if I wanted to place a point, you know, somewhere in this midpoint, and then that midpoint over here, you know, all I have to do is just hover over both of those and then it knows that um, I want to put something there so anywho we'll finish up this thing and again click it turn a little bit to the side so you can see the actual arrow and then just go ahead and remove things so there we go uh, you know circles are the same way you know it's pretty basic just um, you know, click, and then, you know, just, you can just do whatever, really. There you go. And that's it.